Yeah. Speaking of mismanagement. Hell yeah, let's go. Let's talk Super about Super Best Friends. But... Oh boy. <laughs> we got to click that video thing. We can yeah. talk about electronic arts, but I don't know uh, which way you want to go with this one. Most downvoted comment in Reddit history. Let's go that way. <laughs> it's like it's... Yeah. Quite frankly, I think Pat just summed it up. This is the most asinine, patronizing, fucking piss on me and tell me it's raining statement I've ever seen in my entire time following the games industry, and that's saying a lot. Pat, Pat, where's your sense of pride and Shot accomplishment? The f- so they straight up just tell Pride everyone. and accomplishment, So there's two Pat. parts to this. One is the review copies for Battlefront 2 have been found to have fucked uh, and yes. easier to obtain point values for buying things such as heroes and, and shit like that. It is six times easier to buy things in that shop than it is in the retail game. As a response to this kerfuffle and everybody going, hey, what the fuck? Every single piece of news about Battlefront is how it's a microtransaction filled shithole that fucks me when I pay for it. EA released what may be the most condescending thing ever, saying, we want players to really earn and value their no, unlocks. Now, 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 is, now. Oh, uh, you know what? Why don't you just read the, the fucking thing verbatim? Shall we? Yeah. Uh, thread is called, seriously, I paid $80 to have Vader locked. <laughs> Vader was not locked in the first game. Hell he no, he wasn't. he wasn't. He was not. In fact, you did the tutorial as him. Yeah. EA community team responds. The intent to, is to provide players with a sense of pride and accomplishment for unlocking different heroes. As for cost, we selected initial values based on the data from the open beta and other adjustments made to milestone rewards before launch. Among other things, we're looking at the average per player credit earn rates on a daily basis and we'll be making constant adjustments to ensure that players have challenges that are compelling, rewarding, and of course attainable via gameplay. We appreciate the candid feedback and the passion the community has put forth around the current topics passion here on Passion means he- you're all pissed off. You're on Reddit. <laughs> Our forum, it does. It does. Our forums and across numerous social media outlets. Our team will continue to make changes and monitor the community feedback and update everyone as soon as... And as often as we can. Hmm. Congratulations, my four hundred and nineteen thousand down likes Jesus. is just enough down likes to unlock Vader. Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> you did it. Seriously, it's, I hope you feel pride and a sense of accomplishment. It's that that was written by a marketing man who was all in on the. Oh, you're gonna. He did it. <laughs> uh, that was all in. On the process of like, let's game the system so the people buy the train. Like, it's the most transparent fucking buy the shit you fucking hacks shit ever. It's the worst. It's the worst. I mean, ultimately, um, it, yeah, it, it, this. I was gonna buy this game, and because of this shit, I'm gonna skip it. Like, fuck I it. was. I, oh yeah, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm very out. I'm very out. No, like, no. I couldn't be more I, disinterested. Yeah, like, I have. And, yet- I, and me and Matt, we we talked about it. We have had problems with loot box shitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but this is too far. I'm yeah, really absolutely. glad that and I haven't a- even booted up Wolfenstein because I'm going to boot up Wolfenstein. <laughs> but, it, of, of but it's also it also is like we we all care about Star Wars enough to care enough to to buy the game, but not enough to. To, to like, get to play, in on that, to like, play the game that is this process, you can live your here, life and be thing, fine without thing. it. Back in the day, you might need to play uh, unlock arcade mode with every character and get your Vader, like in Masters of Terracotta sure. or whatever it is. I'm fine with that, honestly, because it's not that big of a time sink. But either playing the game to like whatever level it is to unlock Vader or pay that much for it, that's like that's like what this this generation is sort of now it's where the it's... new low well yeah. i mean we talked about games as a service uh a, a, a couple of uh, last episode or the one before i forget we but, talked about it more than that but like, there was but there was a, a a i think the one you missed or so mm. uh we yeah went, we, we went, went we went in on, on it for a while and the uh thing with this in particular that like uh, someone posted an article from a PR guy that that talked about mm-hmm. some of like what goes into planning out how you put in these microtransactions, and it's like yeah, it's it's one hundred percent true, and anyone that's worked in a, at the companies can tell you this that like they will one hundred percent look at how much value annoys you and how much like yeah people get upset by what the threshold is, mm-hmm. dial it back just beneath. There's that. there's a sweet spot, and 
account for a number of people getting pissed off and go, well, no, we expect this many people like that to get equation. pissed and so, leave. On, uh, in this and case. then what what remains is still It's profitable. like and, Scott and, Steiner trying to explain math, but he's like, you take 26 chance of people sure. being pissed off over and, Vader. And the trick is, is that if you do it little by little, game per game, you wear down that tolerance yeah. so that it gets worse over time. The other part of the post, which is totally true, is the idea that uh, you suggest changes mm-hmm. and that your changes are like fixes to the most egregious problems but not actually the core of the shit remains the core of the shit is still this because your the economy they planned can't be changed that drastically Mm -hmm. they you know the money was spent to make them to to have this game be this type of service (sighs) but what they can do is change how expensive things are Mm -hmm. you can see the uh the for honor thing right and whatnot where they go yeah we'll make certain things cheaper the things that get people upset will become cheaper but it's and then 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 the 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 press becomes about the changes right mm. but ultimately the the core system is still there but, and it's not going to go anywhere and the pe- people that never come back we expected you to be gone and that's fine but for honor it's like hey here's this character class this is a fictional character there's a lot of history and a lot of like it's fucking Darth Vader mm-hmm. I would be like generally okay with this if they had like unlocks of like more obscure Star Wars characters as you level up in the game or whatever. Get Greedo, get whoever, you mm-hmm. know. Uh, but locking Vader when he was not locked I, in I the sh- first game. I should also mention that the the particular rage over this for context is because it would take an average of about forty hours. Yes, of playing that, the that, game was, that, was the metric, that was the which metric. is the important bit of like that's ridiculous. But because the bullet point that's so easy to to spout is what you just said. Yeah. No Vader, no Vader. What the fuck? Then, then they're going to fix Vader. Vader's going to be free. Probably. And Vader's, they, Vader's probably going to be free. And, and then you're not going to bitch about all the rest of the fucking disgusting shit. And that's, that's story. still garbage. We went from like, Oh fuck. I got a pre-order to get Goro. I would love to pre-order and get like Vader instead of whatever this is. You know, uh, it, 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 yeah, it's just part of the game now. It's just part of the game. And when I say the game, I don't mean the video game. I he mean means it's part the of the game, game man. Yeah, the hustle. This game gonna sk- stay the game forever. Your outrage is quantifiable, expected, and calculated. That's why people hate Jim Sterling, because he amps it up, <laughs> makes it good. Just being real. Jim's too real. When you've been in the, when you've been. In the game, yeah. making these games for the better part of God knows how many decades now, four, three, mm. right? Like, you know how this goes. You, th- This is not our first rodeo with the DLC outrage. Yeah. And they're watching other companies and, and everyone else's reaction to it. Like, they know how this is going to go. So let's talk about But the, it's Star Wars. So you can take that risk. Flip side of this for just one second is like, while this sucks, if you like Star Wars, it's like, man, that sucks for you, especially if they don't change it. Um, you know who's not talking about this problem? Yeah, the uh, my, my my sister's brother, super fan Star Wars guy, yeah. that just wants to play Star Wars. Oh yeah, Star Wars, I'll play it. You know? Yeah, this is the voice well, of. What I mean your... is that if you can be outraged at this, and it's fine to be like, mm, God, I hate this. It's fine to be saying what we're saying right now, like, man, I'm not going to buy the game. What you should probably not do is go to the main developer's Twitter and give him death threats because well, there that's is always this... something you shouldn't do. You know, there's always something you shouldn't do. But that that I saw a tweet like earlier today. Yeah, I got like he's like I got five death threats. I got five death threats. Yeah. Like, guess it, what? That's at the always, end of, it's always going it, to it, happen. It's not even know. part of the discussion because but there's what always I'm just dumbasses. Saying is like yeah. in just as just as they calculate your rage, try to calculate your own rage and say, is my life in a place where I need to threaten this guy's life because I don't get my plastic? No, nobody, no. Dark nobody, man? nobody, nobody's no. actually They're... nobody who's going to go to somebody and utter death threats is going to have the presence of mind to actually ask that question. Also, yes, they, of uh, course. yeah, and 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 half of them think they're just being funny or over the top. It's like or, like, it's like G. Yeah, you know that guy like, who got not... mad at the grocery store and shat on the floor. That was you. No, it wasn't. It was the other guy. <laughs> Well, no, you know, no, that was you. No. Yeah, that was yeah, you. You know what? When he was in that process, he wasn't thinking like, "Oh, should I really think about doing this?" No, he's like, <laughs> "I'm fucking mad. I'm gonna shit on the floor." That's yeah. what you said. They, fucking uh, goddamn it, that wasn't me. They got you on camera. I can what? barely go to the bathroom in a public bathroom. How the fuck that's do you think true, I could shit true, my pants a, or if I shit on the floor with, and if I, my, with my, a sufficient amount of rage it. and anger? No, man, you you do it in your pants. That'll show. Them. You anyway. just get that fight or flight response going. And it all comes out. Oh, I'm very used to that fight or flight response. I'm strong against that. 
So if they announce that they're locking Darth Talon, the Red Twi'lek, Sith Lord, I would also probably be Crumble. very angry. <laughs> Yeah. But you know, Vader's close. I guess. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm. E- I can easily just be like, I'm out of this one because I was already like, yeah, maybe. I, I kind of, you know, I was happy with the first one, but I was, I, I thought there's other they'd... games you can play. There's tons and tons of games. Yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, 